The following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. Heart failure is a serious condition. However, it's not a death sentence. If you manage it properly, you can live a normal and fulfilling life. In today's story, an 84-year-old Hillsborough man shows us how heart failure has never limited him. Okay, I think I have an idea. Are we ready? Dennis Nemo Tessicini has two loves in life. His wife, uh, Beverly. She's my rock. Uh, without her, I'd be in deep trouble. And coaching softball. Fire! 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 Dennis uses his own garage as a coaching center. She's working on speed. When he coaches, he's not Dennis. He's Coach Nemo. Good, Jojo. You got it. So I don't see myself as a Dennis. Uh, I'm Nemo. Dennis was a high school teacher and coach for 36 years. During that time, his students gave him the nickname Nemo. I know that sounds great. Where did you get it? They said 20,000 leagues under the sea. You're the captain. Even back then, Dennis seemed larger than life to those around him. So when he suffered a heart attack in his 50s, it surprised everyone, including himself. Never had any warnings of, oh my God, I can't breathe, or I'm getting off all tired. Uh, I didn't have anything like that. It just was bam. A few years later, the damage from the heart attack caused Dennis to develop heart failure. He did not think he had much time left, so he made a decision. I'm going to do what I love doing the most, teaching and coaching. And uh, that was my lifeline. Life had something or someone in store for Dennis. We met, and sure enough, there were sparks. Beverly and Dennis met when they were both 61. Dennis warned Beverly about his condition, but she wasn't phased. I said... Well, I think that's worth a chance. We got together. <laughs> We've been together now for 23 years. They've had many adventures since and many more to come. You can come back and see us in 10 years. <laughs> as well as Dennis is doing now, getting there was not easy. He had several intensive procedures, including stent, defibrillator, and pacemaker placements, as well as quadruple bypass surgery. The only thing that kept me going was Dr. Tim. The valves are working well. These are the four chambers of his heart. So. Dr. Lori Tam is Dennis's cardiologist from the Providence Heart Institute. She believes others can learn from his example. In his case, he didn't give up. You know, he was a diligent in terms of follow-up, in terms of getting the care he needed. He was a good patient. He took his medicines, and he did his part in helping himself live a longer life. Dr. Tam has three recommendations for taking care of your own heart. The first is know your numbers. Things like cholesterol, body mass index, and blood sugar have major impacts on your cardiovascular health. Next, know the signs of heart issues. Things like shortness of breath, chest tightness, and chest pain are definite red flags. Some unlikely signs include pain in the arm, neck, or shoulder. The last, know there's always hope. Heart failure, that word is kind of a misnomer. You know, failure means that it's failed. Heart failure, by definition, really is just a heart that's not able to function as efficiently. That means heart failure can be managed through medication, lifestyle changes, and most importantly, doing what you love. I mean, I, I get done with my lesson, and I cry. It's such a tender moment for me. I just love what I do. These girls keep you young. Another important factor in your heart health is your diet. The main thing to remember is to eat unsaturated fats. Those are going to be in foods like olive oil, fish, nuts, and avocados. You can learn more about heart health by going to k2.com slash family matters. Police are